Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey with Detach Designs, and what we're going to do in this lesson is I'm going to show you how you can vertically center uh, an element or an image using a, a bit of jQuery. So uh, if you guys use some CSS, you know it's pretty simple to horizontally center an element just by setting the margins to auto, but that does not work for vertically centering. So uh, I'm going to show you a way that we're going to center an image in the window uh, just using a bit of jQuery. So if you look at my page, uh, I have a blank style sheet. We may or may not use this. Uh, I have my jQuery.js file and then I just have an image. So we'll get right into it and I'm going to drag my image into my body. And then I'm also going to drag our jQuery into the head section. Okay? So, pull this up and Give it an alt tag. Okay, and we can actually get started with our script. That's all we're going to need. Uh, let me go ahead and run this in the browser so you can see what we have. Okay, so you can see it's just uh, just uh, a, an image I created, uh, but it's not centered at all. So how can we fix this? Well, I'll show you. Let's go back into our page, and uh, I'm going to write a little bit of script. So I'm going to do script type equals text slash JavaScript, and we'll do our standard document.ready. So get document, and when it's ready to be manipulated, let's run a function. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the I'm sorry, we're going to get the image tag. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just doing it this way. However, on your page, if you have more than one image, uh, you need to remember this is going to grab all images on the page. So, um, if you're doing in a real-world situation, you'd probably want to have uh, the, an ID to the image, maybe ID my image, and that'll be uh, a little more specific. But this is fine for uh, this tutorial. So, get the image, and what we're going to do is we're going to adjust its top value so that it's vertically centered. So we're going to have to uh, create a few variables. Uh, we'll do var height, and this is, we're going to get the document and then get the height of it, okay? Dot height. And we're going to store that in this height variable. And then also, we need to go into this image and get its height. And uh, it's a nice way to, um, to get the height of an element or an image when you don't necessarily know it, or when you have the height set to auto. So what we're going to do is we'll do var image height, and what we're going to do is we're going to get the image and get its height value. And just to show you, let's do a console.log image height, and let's refresh this in the browser, and you'll see the actual height of this image that I have. Okay, so 250. It's 250 pixels tall. So. Now we have two variables. Now, I get rid of this console.log, and we're going to set the top value. So image.css, and um, as I'm sure you know, if you're going to adjust the top, left, right, and bottom values, uh, it needs to be positioned. So we're going to set position. Actually, uh, here's a quick trick. If you're doing CSS in jQuery, you could do it the standard way. You could do position, colon, relative. But this syntax, it's only for setting a single uh, property in its value, but if you want to do more, you would do this. You'd go back to CSS and then put it in brackets uh, in the same way that you would use the animate method. So we're going to do position, relative, and then we're going to separate each one by a comma. So now that it's relatively positioned, we can adjust the top value. And we're going to do top, and this is going to equal the height of the of the window of the document divided by two minus the image height divided by two. Okay. So let's run this in the browser. And now you can see we are vertically centered. Okay. And I'm on somewhat of a small screen, but I'm going to enlarge the screen. refresh it. Give that just a minute to load. 
Now, unfortunately, uh, I have the browser a little bit larger than uh, the screen, so this may not look centered to you, but uh, trust me, uh, it is, in fact, centered. There it goes. Okay, and, yeah, obviously, on your screen, it's not going to look centered, but uh, I promise you, it is centered on the page. So, let's just go back over this. Uh, we created two variables in this lesson, var height, and that gets the height of the document. And then we have the image height, which uh, returns uh, in pixels the height of the image that you're using. And then in order to center that on the page, we get the height of the document and divide that by two, so it has an equal um, bottom and top. And then we subtract that by a uh, half half of the image is height and that effectively centers it on the page. So uh, I hope this helped and uh, stay tuned for more videos from detachdesigns.com.